To describe directions in hexagonal crystals, we have to use the Miller-Brave system. It's going to be four coordinates instead of three. You start out with an ordinary three-dimensional U prime, V prime, W prime. For example, one, zero, zero. So that would be this red arrow here. And then we're going to convert it into U, V, T, W. And here are the formulas that will do it, but I also want to show it conceptually. If we are simply taking one, zero, zero, then in the A1 direction, it's clearly one. In the A2 direction, you can see that this vector is somewhat negative. So it's got a negative one half component. In the A3 direction, likewise, this has a negative one half component. In the Z direction, it's zero. From here, we do the usual trick of clearing out the fraction. So we multiply by two, and that would give us two, negative one, negative one, zero. And the way we write directions in crystals, we want it super compact. So we write two, we write the negative one as a one with an over bar and another negative one with an over bar, and then a zero. So that is the code for that direction in a hexagonal crystal. Now, how does that work with the formulas? If we plug in one, zero, zero for u prime, v prime, w prime, u is n over three times two times one minus zero. So n over three times two. The v is n over three times zero minus one. The t is minus u plus v, and since that's two-thirds n minus one-third n is one-third n, put a minus on it, you have negative n over three again. And the z direction, or w direction, is zero. From here, the point of the n is to multiply by something to clear out the fraction. Ignoring the n, we have negative two-thirds, negative one-third, negative one-third, zero, so we multiply by three, and we get two, negative one, negative one, zero, and again, we get that notation.